Good day and thank you for checking out the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in just 5 minutes a day. In today's video, we will discuss how to find airspeed limitations for the Diamond DA-40. The V speeds we are going to identify are VA, maneuvering speed, VFE, maximum flap extension speed. This is also normally the max flap operating speed for trainer aircraft. VNO, maximum normal operating speed or maximum structural cruising speed. VNE, never exceed speed. VSO, stall speed in the landing configuration. VS, stall speed in the clean configuration. VG, best glide speed. VY, best rate of climb. And VX, best angle of climb. To find these V-speeds, we will refer to our aircraft POH. Open to the table of contents, and we will begin in section 2, Limitations. Once there, we should look for the airspeed and airspeed indicator markings pages. Let's begin with the airspeed page. Here, we may read a few speeds beginning with VA or maneuvering speed. This speed is dependent upon weight. It requires more speed to disturb a heavier aircraft's state of flight. Let's assume we plan to fly around near max weight. We expect a maneuvering speed of about 108 knots. Above this speed, full deflection of any control surface may overstress the aircraft. The maximum flap extension and maximum flaps operation speeds are 91 with flaps in the landing position and 108 with flaps set to the takeoff position. Our maximum normal operating speed is 129 knots, and lastly, our never exceed speed is 178. Moving on to the next page, airspeed indicator markings. As long as we know how to read an ASI, we can gather a couple more speed limits from this page. The white arc depicts the operating range with the flaps fully extended. The lower limit depicts a VSO or landing configuration stall speed of 49 knots. Below that, we can expect aircraft control to suffer or become non-existent. The upper limit shows max operating speed with the flaps fully extended, which we mentioned to be 91. Above this value, we risk structural damage to the flaps. The green arc depicts normal operating range without the flaps extended. The lower value depicts a VS or clean configuration stall speed of 52 knots. The upper value is our max structural cruising speed. Above that, we risk structural damage unless operating in smooth air. The yellow arc depicts the caution range. As a rule of thumb, normal operation in the yellow arc should be avoided, especially in the presence of any turbulence. The red line on any ASI depicts VNE, or the speed we should never exceed regardless of conditions. These are the speeds we can identify in Section 2. Moving on to Section 3, Emergency Procedures. This is where we'll find our best glide speed. Look for the gliding page. We can turn there now. Our glide speed is dependent upon aircraft weight. I like to explain this parallel increase in weight and required glide speed by thinking that, in order to keep the aircraft gliding along, any increase in weight will have to be matched by an increase in lift. To achieve this increase in lift, we must increase our aircraft's glide speed. Assuming we are near maximum weight, our glide speed will be 76 knots. Section 4 of the POH will give us our last two V-speeds. Look for the airspeeds for normal operating procedures page. We can turn there now. Here, we can find our VY or best rate of climb speed. This is the speed that will give us the greatest increase in altitude per unit time. This speed is dependent upon aircraft weight. Assuming max weight again, we've got a best rate of climb speed of 67 knots indicated with the flaps in the takeoff position. It is also important to note our cruise climb speed for the DA-40. We will transition to this speed once we retract the flaps. To find our VX or best angle of climb speed for the DA-40, we need to do some digging in the POH. Look for the abnormal operating procedures table of contents, something like halfway through section four. Typically, VX is what we shoot for during a short field takeoff, as this speed would give us the greatest increase in altitude per unit distance traveled. Or, in other words, this speed will help us climb the highest by the end of the runway. Let's look for the takeoff from a short grass strip page. Once there, we can find our best angle of climb speed. This speed, too, is dependent upon aircraft weight. At maximum weight, we should expect a VX of 67 knots. These V-speeds should be memorized for the aircraft you plan to perform flight training in. This concludes today's video covering how to find V-speeds for the Diamond DA-40.
As always, thank you so much for checking out the ACS library. If you've learned something from today's video, I hope that you might like or share it. If you're interested in seeing more, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to the right of that to enable notifications. Questions and feedback are always welcome in the comments section. Thanks again and safe flying.